Hey everyone, we are at the Monterey Bay Aquarium and I have the absolute pleasure to be speaking with Allison who's in charge of communication here at the aquarium. We just had a really informative view of an albatross's life and unfortunately we got some really upsetting news about the belly of an albatross and what's in it and it's it's the reason why we're out promoting recycling. Allison, could you take us through this a little bit? Sure. So what I have here is the stomach contents of one albatross. So it's really hard to believe, but, and I know if your camera can pick some of these things out, but we have some cigarette lighters in here. We have bottle tops. I have a comb, all kinds of pieces of plastic. I think if, you know, if we went through this, we could probably identify a lot of these pieces. Some of them have probably been floating around in the ocean for a long time and have broken down a little bit. But it's pretty astonishing that one albatross could contain this. And the Laysan albatross, Makana, that we just met, their species has really been impacted severely by, by this plastic. In fact, it's estimated 40% of all the chicks die every year through ingesting plastic. So it's a population that's really suffering because of the way that we dispose of our plastics. So, you know, when you see litter in the street, it's likely to get into the storm drains and eventually makes its way into the oceans and eventually gets into the feeding grounds of amazing birds like albatross. And they mistake these pieces of plastic for food. And they take it back to the chicks, they feed it to the chick, and then the chick eventually dies of starvation because they feel full, so they stop eating. And then they die, and then we find their bellies full of plastic.